There are thousands of trees throughout Irving, but no need for you to count them. The city has already had it done. We are uh, inventorying 4,000 trees for the city of Irving. They're all on public property. We started out in the medians, uh, and then now we've moved into the parks. He said we, but Matt single-handedly tagged all the trees that are being counted for good reason. One is just to get an idea of how many, what the species composition is uh, of the of Irving's uh, urban forest if we have more oaks or more crepe myrtles or whatever so that then gives them a plan on what to plant in the future. It also gives us a chance to look at the condition of the trees. Are they healthy? Are they poor? Which trees need to be removed? And which trees need to be pruned or trimmed? And so this then gives the city an idea of what they need to budget for in the future in terms of tree care. It also lets them get an idea of the average age of the trees so they need if it's an older population or a younger population and it lets them get an idea of where they need to focus tree planting in the future. Speaking of the future, this survey will help prepare for that. The other benefit that we're going to be able to get from this is we're going to be able to take all this information that we gather and put it into um, programs such as U4 and Stratum, which are computer programs that take the measurements of the trees, the size, the height, the, the DBH, and give us an environmental benefit for them. That sounds like it's expensive, and it could be. However, the city of Irving received a grant from the Texas Forest Service to help out. And when it comes to money, Matt says trees represent green. And the one thing that's cool about trees and the green infrastructure is they're the only part, the only asset, the only infrastructure within the municipality that's actually going to appreciate in value over time. And so it's really important that, that people do realize that we have all of these trees out here and that they are in good condition and that they are doing multiple things for us besides just giving us shade. They improve the overall aesthetics of the community, of course, but they also improve the overall livability in terms of cleaning our air and, and filtering our water and reducing stormwater runoff and things like that. They also raise property values. They increase um, shopping in districts that have nice, well-landscaped, tree-planted areas. Uh, it's been shown that they draw more uh, customers to into those retail areas and places that don't have nice landscaping. So they do so much more for us than, than just give a shade. And if you'd like to give back in some small way, consider volunteering at a local park or hosting a tree planting event someday. The only way things get done is if you get involved. So uh, volunteer and get involved. For Parkscape, I'm Starlene Stringer.